Bonus footage. As you near the end of the video, we will do an insert showing our best month monetarily ever. Since this video is celebrating how much money a crappy phone camera in a shaky hand can make, let's shoot the intro that way. Yeah, yeah let's get nice and close, why don't yeah, we? Yeah, let's, let's get yeah. right up our nose. So here it is, for your enjoyment, how much money we made off of an orange video. The investment in the orange was about 50 cents. So that was the investment in the video. Okay, so now we're stepping back in time to October of 2011. I believe it's October 27th, but don't hold me to that. You'll notice that the video itself is poor quality, shaky camera work, and probably about four pixels. Another important thing to notice that people don't ever seem to get is the like to dislike ratio. This is widely disliked compared to liked. Doesn't matter. Still really doesn't as much as people think. The only thing that matters is engagement. At the time I made this video, it was really to prove a point to a person. Believe it or not, all of this happened just because I wanted to show somebody you can make a video like this and use something like an orange and make it totally ridiculous and still make lots of money and get lots of views if you use the proper SEO. As crazy as it is to believe, it's still that way today. Now back then in 2011, the target was much bigger. Where things used to change maybe once a year or twice a year with YouTube, now it seems like it's three, four, five times a year. When I started, view time or length of view was never ever discussed. The only thing that mattered at that point was the amount of views something had. While I understand that point of view, it is still hard for me to break my mindset of views come first. And now we're about at the point where we get the payoff. We're gonna see some fire in an orange. And then we're going to go see how much money could be made from this back in 2011, 2012, before there was preferred YouTubers and before AdSense Apocalypse or Adpocalypse and before PewDiePie and before Logan or Jake Paul, before anything, you could make pretty decent money making really bad videos. And here we go. It looks like the views on this video are now 16,657,482. Looks like the comments... 28,381. You'll notice that the dislike to like ratio is out of balance. There's almost 4,000 more dislikes for this video than there are likes. The next thing you'll notice is this video has made a whopping $1.03 on 874 views in the last 28 days. Needless to say, this video is deader than a doornail. That's part of the reason we're going through this now. Nothing we say or do today is going to harm the marketability of a video that makes a dollar three a month. Next, we're gonna hop over quickly and look at what this video has made in the last 365 days or one year, $16.77, which is really more than it should have made anyway, just the $16.77. $16.77 for almost 12,000 views now is normal, but I'm gonna show you what the normal used to be. $34,516.65 off of an orange. Kind of disgusting. Okay, we're going handheld. I want to show you guys something. This graph's going to come up later in the video, but the highest day we ever had came after a few peaks. Here's something interesting. You can see how YouTube evolved. The highest money day is actually over here. The highest day is way down here. During this period of time at YouTube, things changed a lot, and you couldn't make as much money off a simple orange video. YouTube is always evolving. Now, before we go any further, I want to show you something. This is where the views actually came from. Here's one you don't see very often anymore. YouTube Partner Promotion. I haven't seen one of those pop up on one of my videos in literally years. All right, we're going to go handheld old school like this because uh, we're going to go off the laptop and I don't have my capture set up on this one. Uh, look at the watch time. This video is so old. When it started, they weren't doing watch time. That's why it's flat and then goes straight up. That's like when watch time was invented on Ooh. YouTube. Uh, let's see. Your estimated revenue. Made most of that money in an 18-month 18, 18 span. Like I said, this last month, a buck ten. Views, same thing. Watch time. If we could take that watch time and dole it out, we would never have to hit their 240,000 minutes nope. again. We would be uh, done D. I think it's fair to say that this is um this video went viral. Yeah, I think yeah. that's fair. Um, if not, it went darn close. Darn close. 16 million views. I, you know, some people say 50 million. Uh, you know, whatevs, bro. But I mean, how long is that 16 million views for? 
like 10 million views. It probably had 10 million views about four years ago at least. YouTube crashed on us. You can't censor us. You can't censor us. We're going to tell the truth. Was it you telling me that like 90% of the money on YouTube is made by 5% of the people on YouTube? Or something like that? Um, no, I don't think that was me, but that's an interesting um, little statistic. If it's true. One last thing, I pulled up just a random month. Uh, this was going to be December of 2012. Just in the way of what YouTube used to pay. Um, $1,642 that month for that video. Off of 668,000 views. So... 350,000 less than a million and we made 600, 700 over the now average 1,000 per million. I miss the old days. Yeah, back in the good old days. So now, that's why you need a Patreon and that's why you need to sell yeah. crappy t-shirts. But then again, back then there weren't like Jake Pauls or Logan Pauls. There weren't YouTubers that giant. So I mean, I, f I feel like they had more money to kind of um, spread around. You think that's what it was? Well, and well, they, I think it's more than just that, but I think that definitely factors into it, maybe. Well, they didn't have the preferred program, so everybody yeah. had fair shots at videos. And, you know, like you said, the biggest person I think at that time... Was probably PewDiePie or... William Ray William Johnson. Johnson. Uh, this predated Pew PewDiePie. We've been at this for a minute. People forget how long we've been on this. Oh, look at that money. There you go. Hey. 2200 for that month in November... Still not a million views. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good chunk of change. <laughs> it's pretty good. But you know, if you consider the fact that you you're reaching eight hundred thousand people, I think that's two grand is fair. Absolutely. If you were paying ad rates on TV, you know, forget about it. Forget I, about it. Granted, you're advertising. You know, your wares using an orange that is <laughs> on fire. Twenty seven hundred. Off 970,000. We still have not hit a million views with the orange in a month. And we are now closing in on 3,000 that month. Off one video. We had other videos going at this time. We had two other videos going at the same time that both ended up doing in the area of 5 million views. Hmm. So yeah, we, we've had various times where we made decent money. It's like they say in wrestling. Save your money, kid. And here it is, friends. June 1st to June 30th of 2012, we had 2,104,856 views. And we made $6,925.80. If I could give anyone one piece of advice doing YouTube, always keep your receipts because you never know when you're going to have to account for a lot of money at the end of the year. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think maybe we should go get that palm and go back to having somebody <laughs> hold a video like this. I think you're right. Because apparently, like, tripod, editing materials, lighting, doesn't matter. One of the, the important things I learned very early on was dislikes don't matter. <laughs> it's true. 5,000 more dislikes on this video as of today. Dislikes don't matter. The next biggest video we have... The potato video, like 10,000 more dislikes. Just back up the money truck. That's why I always say sometimes like when we get in a rut as a channel, we'll do something and if people dislike it, a certain number of people, then I know we're on the right path. Mm. The, if you have too many people liking what you're doing, you're never going to grow because you're not taking any chances. Yeah, that's a good point. There's the wisdom for today, kids. Make some of your people mad, lose some people, and in the end, you'll grow. Isn't that like an Eminem quote or something like that? If you don't have any enemies, you're doing something wrong. I don't know, but it should be. Should be. Let's attribute it to him. The, the, to the great poet Eminem. And if not him, we can do two edits. Sun Tzu. <laughs> Sun Tzu. That's the other guy that gets all the credit. Yeah. And Confucius. There Confucius, we go. Confucius, Ed. One of the three. Now we'll do three cuts. All right, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching. Good times. Stay vigilant. Stay vigilant. Look at the money we're making now. Shaky oh, cam. Man. Shaky cam equals money. You can just hear the register ring. Ding, 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 ding.